Yo, as y'all see on today's title and thumbnail, we do got a Q&A today. I'm about to go to the storage unit right now. I'm not even at the storage unit. I just have to pick up these boxes. I just want to start this video off now. You feel me? Now I'm here and I'm back here with another banger video. And yes, look, y'all see today's title and the thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and bring these boxes to my storage unit. Because we got a lot of good questions today. So if y'all got clothing brand questions, they may get answered today. So if y'all new, make sure I hit that like button, subscribe. Stay tuned to this video. Remember, my PO box is in my link in the description. Make sure I hit that like button, subscribe. Thank you on the way, and I'll catch out my storage unit, bro. Everything that we do is untraceable. Thinking gangster, that nigga's erasable. This bitch listening to too much Beyonce. She really thinks. Yo, bro, my bag is ripping, bro. Like off. I know this is off topic, but. Y'all see this? Y'all see this, bro? It's ripping. I'm about to pack up this bag. Yo, this place will keep me scary at night, bro. Yo. Time real quick. It's currently 5 or 5. And we just now getting here. It is pitch black dark outside. Like, it's 5 o'clock. It's pitch black dark outside. I do not like it. I hate when it gets dark early, bro. It's like the day be over so fast. Bro. Bro, I love my storage unit, bro. Like, I gotta ship all of these up. This is just labeled. Let me show you. I'm so mad, bro, because I'm trying to have Christmas break. No, our Christmas break starts in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. But I wanted to have it this week. Like, come on, bro. Why they holding us for Christmas? So, yeah, this is the storage unit. I'm actually about to sell all of these hoodies. Actually, because I finished shipping out all of them, and these are just some over inventory that I have bought. So, I got all of these. And these, if y'all probably wondering why I got a box just full of these, every single time I get a bulk, at least, like, two hoodies don't come in a bag. So all the bags are like right here. So I just gotta put those hoodies in a bag right here. So yeah, that's what we gotta do. I'm gonna go get the rest of the inventory. I just need to get my tripod. Yeah, these two boxes ain't nothing too crazy. Bro. Can it like not go over or something, bro? I'm about to go ahead and get these all sorted out. This box is full, that box is full, so. And then, I'm gonna pick up the camera once we get started this video. But yeah, if y'all new, make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe. I'll catch y'all in a second, bro. Okay, bet. So, so, I just got done packing all these orders. I asked my IG. I'm doing a Q&A. Let me know y'all clothing brand questions. Some of them was clothing brand related. Some of them just questions about me personally. So, I'm finna answer all those questions, bro. So, if y'all new, make sure I hit that like button, subscribe. I'm gonna let's get straight into this video. I don't know if I'm gonna do a standing. I think I should do a standing or a sitting. I pick up this camera when I set the camera down. I'll catch y'all in a second, bro. I bet. I don't know if this is a good angle, but it's just gonna have to do. First things first, bro. I'm gonna take a screenshot of all the um questions. But as I can see, we got a lot of questions here today. Hold on, let me just turn on the brightness so I can show all y'all. These are the questions on IG. I'm gonna start from top from bottom. First question is we got from Cuff from the three. How to market on IG? There's a bunch of ways you can market on IG. You can obviously post your pictures on the floor. Instagram Reels is a good one too. Instagram Reels really been popping recently. I ain't even gonna cap. Instagram Reels really been going crazy. So I doing giveaways too. Giveaways as well. Giveaways will help you. How to easily get influencers to pieces. A lot of these influencers, they have PO boxes, right? So you could easily send an influencer if they do PO box openings, let's say. Uh, like any YouTuber you know, send them to their PO box and they may open it as well. Or you could DM like a mutual friend that y'all got. Like if you have a mutual friend with them, DM the mutual friend, try to get them in your pieces. But I really can't say a lot about that because I haven't sent any of my clothing to really any influencers. Send it to their PO box. Make sure your piece is fire because they gonna want it more. Like they gonna show it off if your piece is harder, your piece is tough. I bet. Let me get that follow back on my brand page or follow my brand page. I bet I got you. How do you balance school and owning a clothing brand? Does one suffer from the other? I'm gonna like the way I see it is like statement is my future. Like me personally, don't take don't just because you own a clothing brand, don't like base it off of why i said but me personally 
I don't like school definitely suffers the most out of everything like I would say like I work harder on all my clothing brands and on YouTube way more than school so definitely school does suffer it because how I personally see it is statement is my future like my clothing brands my YouTube is my future school has never in my life been my future like ever since I was little I always was saying I never want to go to college no matter what I wanted to do I was not going to college bro college school I hated all of them so of course school i'm not going it's not like oh i'm going to fail i'm going to stay back yeah that's how i just see it can a 15 year old from south africa with no experience be a profitable clothing brand owner if you put it at work and don't quit you get up there bro like you just gotta have the motivation bro if it's something you really like to do keep doing it bro like there's no way you should be quitting on something that you really like to do just find what you really want to do when you get older whatever your dream is follow that dream anybody could do it bro anybody could really do it if you put your drive into it bro like yes you could do it bro 15 year old from south africa yes you could do it i was here i start i was a 15 year old with no experience bro i started my clothing brand off of i woke up one day i was like you know what? i want to be a clothing brand owner literally at 15 years old last year, I said, yo, I want to be a clothing brand owner. Anybody could do it. I had zero experience in the clothing whatsoever. I just literally did it because I was like, you know what? I really want to do this. So I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. And now I'm at where I'm at. But it wasn't easy. It took time, like obviously, but everybody is different. Thing people do thinking that it's a get rich easy process. No, it is not a get rich easy process, bro. I promise y'all. It's not get rich easy. Once people get their first drop, they literally quit because they didn't sell nothing. Like, bro, it's your first drop, bro. You trial and error. Literally. 15 year old with no experience. Yes, bro, you could do it, bro, because I was once a 15 year old with no experience at all, bro. No experience at all. Literally, I used to be playing Fortnite, 2K, all of that, bro. I was literally the toughest at 2K. Like, honestly. Next question is what's some good manufacturers? DM me on my IG, call my manufacturer's list. It is $50, my manufacturer list, IG. So yeah, how to get designs if you're just starting with little money and no prior designing experience. Bet. So I would say learn designing because if you have little money, Photoshop is not really that hard once you learn it. Like once you learn what to do on Photoshop, it's just straight off your creativity. So I would say definitely learn how to use Photoshop. You could get Photoshop for free. Photoshop, you use Pixar, you could get an iPad, do all that. I'm not really familiar on the iPad. I've been on Photoshop for a minute. So once you really learn Photoshop, like learn how to use the basic stuff, then you can really create pieces. It's just everything is based off your creativity that's how i see it. literally everything based off your creativity so because if you was to give me an ipad bro i could cook something up bro like literally you can use pixar and cook something up i'm telling you it's just your creativity you overthinking it it's not oh i don't know how to use this use this use this you can learn photoshop or pixar on your phone and then use creativity bro just uh, straight off your mind sample prices from manufacturers all of my sample prices range from like 100 to like 170 depending on what you order though i ordered two asso sweatpants samples and they were both like total like like 120 the range from there you ordering one hoodie and a sample price is 200 no bro that's a bad price how many times a day you were posting until your product went viral that is a good question i think i had like a week because i had two weeks to promote right and then it was like the first week when the first week i was promoting i was dropping the next week so let's say it's monday today i dropped next wednesday if that made sense so my video went viral on wednesday so because i started promoting like the last friday but i was just making videos like probably once once or twice a day i was really heavy on one time a day i used to wait 24 hours every 24 hours i would post a video that's how i used to do it first video did good then i'll post again but i only did like one to two times a day really me personally i don't really think there's a method to get a viral video viral video that's just me personally bro it was these hoodies drop actually i'm finna show you these hoodies it was this one charcoal hoodie i was dropping it i only had two weeks to promote and then the TikTok started going crazy on the like fourth day. The fourth day, the TikTok was just blew up. And I had like 3,000 followers at the point. So the TikTok blew up. I got this to like 400K by the next week. So I got like five, four, 400K views in the week. And then this went crazy. So yeah, I heard if you post it a lot in a the day, then you get shadow banned. And I just didn't want to. I don't want to take the chance, bro. All right, best. So for the next question we got, how do you deal with stress? And have you ever think of open like a course? How do me personally, I deal with stress. I was turn on some music. Feel me? Music, really. Music, really do. Music is in. Turn on some autumn, bro. Hold on. Let me, let me show y'all my song, bro. Autumn, bro. Whenever I'm stressing, bro, I turn on this, bro. That's the first thing I turn on, bro. I listen to that little autumn on whip. You know what I'm saying? I look... Call my girls on my team, my denim. She know I got money. She see that I'm winning. Now I am not slow, V6 for the engine. But yeah, when I whenever I'm stressing, I just 
turn on some music, chill, all that good stuff. I would open a course, but I used to have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship, but I'm I'm gonna start thinking about opening a course, but I really just haven't had any time to get to it. So I might just see a course. Next year, y'all probably gonna see ad slash marketing. So I personally use TikTok ads, IG ads, market, TikTok, IG, all of that. Like, bro, you gotta market, bro, obviously. Second question, are giveaways good? Yes. I would say giveaways definitely are good. Like they're a way to like get your interaction up, get your followers up, definitely. They do bring in new customers though. I do like doing giveaways because let's say you tell someone, yo, tag three friends, those three friends gonna tag three friends and then they all go, you know what I'm saying? So it's a bunch of people tagging your brand, a bunch of people seeing your brand. And if your product is that good, then those people are gonna be following. If they don't want a giveaway, they gonna cop. So if they don't want a giveaway, they gonna cop because they want that, they want that piece. So definitely giveaways are good for interaction all that plan on buying a friend group crib no after high school i do plan on moving because there is nothing in my state like my state is boring if you know bro if you know where i live bro you know where i live bro there's nothing here yeah i do plan on moving out to like a city you know what i'm saying give me a nice little apartment and continue my youtube journey from there but no i do not plan on buying a friend group crib who am i gonna live with bro no i do not plan on buying a friend group i'm buying a friend group crib it's not what's your plans for the future you know like post high school definitely pursuing my youtube i do plan on like i really do want to do this youtube stuff bro like youtube was my first initial dream my dream always used to be i always used to want to be a youtuber ever since i was a kid i just been going with the flow and seeing where life takes me bro plan on for the future after high school 2025 you know because we got two more years bro 2025 i definitely plan on leaving leaving my state going to a city and yeah pursuing my my youtube career how to market really good. Post on TikTok, post on IG, be consistent, really. How to actually scale your brand after having a viral product. This is my viral drop I had. This one, well, I'm gonna show y'all all the colors. I actually have a blue hoodie, a gray hoodie, and I have a purple hoodie right here. And I have a black hoodie. It was a black color. Hoodie. But how I did mine was I first dropped the gray, right? And that drop went crazy because I can only, at that time, I only had the gray. But I already had the other color mock-ups, but I just didn't have no money to buy it. So what I, my plan was, I was going to drop the gray, use that money to buy other samples. It was a pre-order drop, so the drop was closed. All the time my drop was closed, yo, reopen site, reopen site, restock, restock, restock. So I restocked it with more colors, feel me? So it's a more demand. People want the more colors and more colors look nice and all that good stuff. So once I dropped it with the colors, I found a manufacturer that could sell it full time without doing inventory. So so that's literally what I did. I just kept promoting these hoodies, kept promoting these hoodies. I can see on my TikTok, literally. Literally still sell these. Like, y'all can see. I'm in a room full of them. Like, these are still selling. So, I'm actually about to reopen a drop for those right now. But have a product that you could wear year round. Like, I first dropped these back in March. I got 150 plus TikTok followers. You think that's good to start a brand? If so, any tip? Bruh, I started my TikTok off of zero followers, bro. You can start a TikTok off of anything. You just gotta be consistent with it. Really be consistent with it. Consistency is the one thing that you really gonna need. If you're not consistent, it's not gonna work. And I don't mean spam eight videos a day. Don't. I wouldn't spam. Me personally, I wouldn't spam. When did you actually start seeing growth in my clothing brand? I started seeing growth. Each drop progressively got a little bit more set. I started in August. So August, it was probably like 10 orders. September, it was probably like 15. October, it was probably like 25. Like every single drop I had progressively got more and more and more sales because literally I was just getting better, better and better and better. So it just progressively got up. And then as one drop, it just went all the way up. So when I dropped my first beanies, that was my first drop that did 1K was last December. How do you come up with ideas to put on your clothing brand? Because I want to learn how to. I got a designer and me and my graphic designer, we be bouncing up ideas off of each other. If I see something I like on TikTok, I was like, yo, that's hard. Like I'm gonna put a spin on that. Or if it's something just comes to my head, I'll tell my boy, yo, this is this, 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 this and that. Cook it up for me. And then boom, I will look at a hoodie. I'm like, yo, that's hard. Like, what if I did this, this, and this on this and this and that? Best simplistic themes for websites. Also, what's the best promotion for me starting out? TikTok is definitely the best promo. Definitely use TikTok. Best simplistic themes for websites. My website is done. A lot of people keep asking me what my website is. It doesn't matter what website you choose. It matters what you make it. Because I used to also ask other people, yo, what website theme they use, thinking it's all like one template. No, it's not. Like, I use Dawn. If y'all look at Dawn right now, it does not look like what it is. Literally, it does not look like what my website looks like because I literally changed to what I wanted. That's what I did. Can I pay you to design for me? Nah, I stopped designing, but if you want my graphic designer, 
DM me, you could pay for it. Is Box the GOAT? No, bro. Box is actually, shout out Box, shout out Box. If y'all know Box, his clothing man, peace of mind. Do I use sales funnel? No. What are tips on marketing? Consistency, make your product stand out. Can you give me a few tips on marketing? Bro, y'all keep me the same questions. Has anyone treated you differently after your brand blew up? Hmm. I, I wouldn't say like people treat you differently, but like from me, def definitely like some people, but like it's not treating me differently in like a bad way like it's different because we're in my state like nobody really be doing clothing brands and none of that like people wasn't supporting me when i first started compared to now like now people be you know what i'm saying supporting me all that good stuff and it's crazy because i remember all of it like i know all of it i definitely know when someone you know what i'm saying is treating me differently how many manufacturers do i have i have a bunch of manufacturers for different products any sneak peeks for this statement drop What's your advice for youngins trying to start a brand in YouTube at the same time? Listen, listen, the best time to start your YouTube, document everything, bro. Because that's literally what I did. When I started my clothing brand, I was documenting everything on my YouTube. Like, how I would see it is like, okay, I'm about to pack orders. All right, let me record me packing orders. So, it's like a little journey, bro. I posted my whole journey on YouTube. Y'all could go and, I swear, y'all could, after y'all after watch this video, y'all could scroll down and see when I, my first video, bro. Y'all could scroll down and see how I started my clothing brand. Like, literally videos from April, March this year. Definitely document it, stay consistent. Ice, consistency, bro, consistency. If you start on YouTube, make sure your thumbnails is tough. Make sure your thumbnails are tough. Make sure you have a style on all your videos, bro. That's how I do it. You can tell it's my video off of the thumbnail, honestly. Thumbnails, titles, all of that good stuff, bro. What made you want to start a clothing brand? Why did you start one? I'm gonna tell you that story. I told the story once before. I'm, I told the story like three times on my YouTube, but I was in a Discord. It was literally like in the last summer and I was in a Discord school was about to start back up. I was a freshman going into sophomore year. I was in the Discord with my boy and I was like, you know what, yo, let's start a clothing brand. Because I was at that time, it was a bunch of people. That's when you love SK was really starting to go crazy. Like, not starting to go crazy, but he was going crazy at this time. So all I would see on my free page is you you love SK, all these big clothing brand owners packing orders literally like this. Y'all see these bags? They will literally take videos, all of that, all these bags going to the post office and all that. I'm like, bro, I wanna do that, bro. Honestly, I was like, bro, I wanna do that. Like, one day I'ma really do that. Like I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, that's tough. Like, people really got all these bags. $60 each for a bag, bro? Like, are you serious? Like, this is, like, bro, that's tough, bro. Making your own clothes. That's crazy, bro. So, I was in a Discord. I, I used to see it on TikTok. It was for a week. I swear to God. It was for a week straight. Even before this, I never seen no TikToks like this. A week straight. Why well, would just get clothing brand TikToks? Like, literally, it would just be people packing their orders, all of that. Just a week straight, clothing brand TikToks. So, you know, I'm like, yo, bro, let's start a clothing brand. Feel me? It was in the Discord. It was like 12. It was like 12. 12 at night. I was like, yo, let's start a clothing brand. Feel me? We started it. And he and my boy, he ended up not wanting to do it. Like, by like the sec second week. So, before we even dropped, he said he didn't want to do it. So... That's how I came up with statement. I swear, I would see those, I would see clothing brand TikToks for like a week. I was like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna start one. I'm gonna start one. I'm gonna do that, bro. I, that's how I literally said. I was like, one day I'm gonna do that. One day I'm gonna bring, be bringing mad packages to the post office. And now look, one day I'm gonna be bringing them. Y'all see this? Know what I'm saying? Manifest. Honestly, I want to be just like you. How did you start and how was the journey? Oh, it was a great journey. Like I really learned a lot during this journey. I would do it all over again if I had the chance to. It was so fun seeing like the progress, bro. The progress is like really what the best part. Like the progress is what made me stay throughout this whole thing. Like what's your total sales and profits this month? Five dollars. Five dollars. How many times rough drives did you have? Actually, good thing someone brought this up. Tootie, there was at least six versions to this hoodie i swear to god there was at least six versions of the hoodie i'm gonna pull up one hoodie right here because i, I think i still have this one on, on my macbook but one vert like there were so many versions of this hoodie so i've been designing this since last november like well, this was like the third month in my clothing brand i designed this and i didn't drop it for like five four or five months like literally it was so many versions and i got this one and this one came out it went crazy do you think i should go all in on my brand i'm 16 yes go all in bro all in don't go don't go homeless but definitely go all in bro you should be going all in in your clothing brand bro did you need a vector for designs no you don't really need a vector at all you just gotta explain your product to your manufacturer what size chart did you use for your t-shirt hoodie? how'd you find out if it was pretty Fake. I use my manufacturer size chart because I didn't really know nothing about size chart. But what I used to see people doing, they used to get like measuring tapes and then measure like they hoodie. Let's say the spider hoodie. If I wanted to 
get the same fit as the spider hoodie i will just measure it and send it to my manufacturer that's what you, i suggest a lot of people do that like if you have a hoodie in your closet that you really like how it fits just measure it send it to your manufacturer and then they can make it to that exact fit what camera do i use for youtube i'm recording on a sony a6 400 i don't know what what lens is this it's a sigma 16 millimeter lens yeah sony a6400 with a sigma that's the last question is that really the last question yeah we went through those fast bro unfortunately it is the end of the video though if y'all are new make sure i hit that like button and subscribe bro if y'all got any more questions bro, don't be afraid to dm me on instagram if you guys want to send anything to my peel box once i get a few pieces I'm, i make a peel box opening video my peel box is down below send me out your hoodies i'm gonna rate them in, my, in a video appreciate all y'all 7.4k let me see where we at right now actually we have 7.48 bro appreciate all y'all bro if y'all haven't go watch his last video you know what i'm saying day in the life how i lost sake like, with his manufacturer go watch all these videos bro hit that subscribe button bro i appreciate all you guys for y'all support y'all actually i've been going crazy thank you all for watching this video